Hello and welcome to watch my crochet vlog. My name is Heidi and this is Crochet Mania. Uh, this is episode 29 and uh, this ep episode is all about uh, finished objects and whips. Uh, the last episode was my birthday episode about two weeks ago. Please check that if you haven't already, because there is a giveaway at the end of the episode. You can win some crochet related item. Please go and check that and comment if you want to participate. So comment to the birthday episode, the giveaway episode, so that you are part of the giveaway. And I will be announcing the winner of the giveaway in the next, perhaps in the next episode. But if you haven't watched that birthday episode, please go and check it right away. Mm, yeah, mm, it's November, the darkest time in Finland. I think uh, it's the winter time. We have changed the changed, changed clocks or moved those to the winter time and uh, that causes the problem that uh, it's the it's pitch black dark in the evenings it starts at 4 pm and it's it's so dark that it's uh, it's making making some difficulties to film these videos because i don't have any special lights anything so i need the daylight to film and for the next four months I can only <laughs> film during weekends so but yeah here I am filming it's November Sunday is it 7th of November but yeah uh, I have some finished objects uh, knitted and crochet related and then some whips. So shall we start? First I think I will uh, talk to you about the crochet items so and I will save techniques to the last part of this episode so you can leave those if you don't want to watch my, what I have been knitting. But a uh, finished object in crochet is the doll. Uh, in the previous normal episode, I was just started this doll. I think I had the legs or the shoes ready in September, but now it's finished. Uh, this is a doll by Ara Aradia Toys. I will put all the links and details below. Uh, Aradia Toys Friendy Candy is her name. And I just love all the details that this doll has. Uh, my daughter wanted a new doll. Uh, she chose the colors. And I, I think that she made a good job with the colors. Uh, the hair is, uh, you know, in the pattern, you don't attach the hair with anything to the head, but it stays pretty, pretty well. And I was planning that I can make a different kind of hairs to this doll but of course haven't managed to do that yet but really really loving it and the girl also loves this candy doll and if you haven't checked Aradia Toys Instagram page or account she has so lovely items there and I am I have been watching a new doll pattern that she released 
a month ago or so and I so want to make it but but first I have to finish something else but uh, I think I have a little doll mania at the moment but really really lovely doll uh, the yarn is drops muscat from my stash I didn't have to buy anything any new yarns for the doll drops muscat is my favorite it has been for about five years now for making making um, amikurumis or dolls but yeah really really nice doll uh, some of modification to the hair the, these are not uh, what uh, what the uh, designer has designed these are just uh, chain crochet made with chain crochet and in the pattern there was uh, these candies attached to this but my girl didn't want those so the hair is done by her what he what she wanted but yes really loving this uh, so that's my that's my only crochet related finished object and then I have a new whip crochet whip I started this about two weeks ago I got a major inspiration you know Christmas is coming and previously I have I have done some Christmas decorations uh, I have done the snowman I have done an angel I have done a star and I have made a uh, Christmas trees if you Check out my previous episodes from last autumn before Christmas time during yeah but anyway in my in my previous episodes you can you can see what I have done uh, for Christmas and these these new whips are related to Christmas so I came across in Instagram to I have been following her for some time now and I came across to a Christmas elves a girl and a boy and I was like oh, I want those I want those and at the same evening I was already crocheting those I will I will try to post a picture of those here uh, the designer is Natalia Rusanova and her Instagram Instagram account is Rnata R Nata, er, Nata, and uh, she has beautiful, beautiful designs. I am making the uh, boy and the girl, but here is the girl. So here is the head of the elf and the body, and then I have arms here, both arms. Are done and then I have of course ears and the nose are here nothing to yeah and then I have one one shoe and one leg check this out so clever design this elf shoe and one bomb bomb is is supposed to be here and then there is the elf girl's dress here oh check it out how cute is this and the elf hat of course and uh she has a hair of course but it will be the hair will be done um, it will be attached to the hat yes uh, so i am missing uh, 
the hair and one leg of this elf girl and the boy is also as a whip still there's more items missing from that boy but little by little getting there but i i have really enjoyed this this pattern it's very good there's a lot of pictures so i can i can only recommend ernatas patterns this is my first pattern that i am making making from her so really enjoying and hoping that in the next episode i have these ready christmas elves and of course the yarn is Troxmuscat and uh, i am lucky that i i think i don't have to buy any any colors more that so that my stash my stash has these colors so i don't have to go and buy more but really enjoying this um of course my elves will be again bigger than in the pattern because i'm using different yarn uh, i think the yarn in 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 the original pattern was Catania and Muscat is way is much thicker yarn than Catania so this this else will be a little bit bigger than in the pattern but I don't mind yeah I don't mind about that but these are at the moment the only only crochet project that, that I am working on so hoping to finish this before December yes uh, then to the knitting part you may recall that I have had some knit mania during spring summer and early autumn and uh, last in the September episode I showed you my this is fi finished object uh, I showed you my Copenhagen cardigan by Petit Technit and I have finished it. Check it out. How beautiful is the color. Uh, first I was planning that I am not going to make patterns. But now I have patterns here. They just need to be uh, soon in to the, to the jacket. But I... I this came out just perfect. Could I put it on? So it came out just perfect. The yarn is Cascade Heritake. Yes, Cascade Heritake and local brand Nuria Mohair. Really loving it. What do you think? I think the color is just awesome. Oh, it's, it's really nice with this blouse. What do you think? Really nice. Really nice. I'm very pleased with this. It, 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 came, it came just perfect. I think I leave it on because it's so... It's so... I love this color. So it's my finished object. I think it was September that I finished it. Late September or something like that. But really, really loving it. It came out perfect. Uh, then my second finished object is hats for me and for the girl, like this. Mm. Uh, the pattern is from a Finnish designer, Anjuknitz, and it's called Pilkkupipo. Mm. I don't know if the pattern is in English. I don't think so. 
I'm not sure. I will check it. But it's a, like a dot peony in English. Very large, uh, very wide rim. How do you say it? Rim. A rim. No rim. Uh, ripping. Very large ripping. And some dots. This is mine. This is the grey one. And this is for the girl. She chose the color by herself. And the yarn is Katia Concept Sweet Fleece. Really nice soft yarn. Uh, these are ready, but uh, they are missing pom-poms. I haven't found pom-poms uh, that I like. I want a big, big pom, a few, few uh, how do you say it? Fluffy pom-pom, you know. And I wanted this to be a little bit slouchy. But can't wait the weather to be a little bit colder that I could use this. But this was these were very fast, very fast to knit. I like this. I think these are my third. I have done two, I've done two hats, knitted hats, way before. So, really nice, fast, little knitting project. Just need to find the pom-poms. <laughs> then, I think I, in the last episode, I shared you some plans that I'm going what I'm going to do and one one was the balloon jacket by Petit Technit and I think I showed the yarns yarns uh, it was uh, these two this is Novita Seven Brothers and this is Angel by Bermin Mohair yarn and I am doing this my with my friend Palloon jacket by, by, by Petit Technit. So I have done I have done the hem part and now it should we should separate the front panels and the back panels and the sleeves are done separately and then attached to the body part. But here is the Hem. This is going to be a very uh, fluffy, big cardigan, and there will be no patterns and, uh, at all. This is the... Um, how do you say it? Carter stitch. Yes, carter stitch. And I have... Needles are... Is it seven or eight? I can't see it. Seven. Seven millimeter needles. Really nice, nice project. Mindless project. You just need to knit right. <laughs> no, no pearl side. So it's fast and fun, fun project. But it's on its way. Hoping to finish it during this winter. And then I told you that uh, I wanted to make water lilies from the magazine Laine, their latest, their latest autumn issue. Was it 12? Yes. Designed by Claudia Quintanilla. And I started it about at the same time, at the, at, at the next day when the magazine 
was published, I went to the local yarn store and bought the magazine and bought the yarn and I was, I'm going to finish this in like a no time. And yeah, the first, it was, it, it started very, uh, very well, but then I hit a wall. But first, I made the sleeves first. And here are the sleeves. I, I just love this. Uh, lace pattern in the sleeves. Yeah, I made the sleeves and then the body part is made from bottom up and then you attach the sleeves and then you make the beautiful lace yoke. But I, well, <laughs> Body part is here, without needles. I had attached the sleeves and I had started to make the yoke when I realized that the body is going to be too short. Way too short. Short. So this is the body part. It's very short, like that my belly pattern would be showing <laughs> if I didn't correct this. So I frog it. There was about, well, I don't know how many centimeters, but luckily I haven't, I had made about 10 rows of the lace pattern when I realized that, oh no, this is not going to fit me at all. So I frog the lace pattern and separated the sleeves again. So I just needed, I just need to knit more. Uh, more length to the body part and then attach again the sleeves and make the yoke. But when I realized this mistake, it's it's over, it's about five weeks ago and it, it, it was, you know, it hit me so hard that I haven't been able to start this project again. It just has been laying on a cupboard and I'm just, no, I don't want to continue, continue with you at the moment. And I'm, I'm a little bit sad about that. Because ah, I have the yarns, I have, it's almost finished, you know. 10 centimeters to do with the hem and then attach the sleeves and the yoke. But I just can't do it. So I think I just have to wait that, that the inspiration comes and when it comes, I will start it. Yeah, because I can't, I can't do it if I don't have the right feeling. So please give the thumbs up that I can at some point finish it because I love the pattern. It's so beautiful and uh, the yarn is very nice. Uh, the yarn is, by the way, Knit by Numbers TK. So, yeah, hoping to finish it at some point in my life. I have also thought that I could change the yarn, but I don't know. Then I have four skeins or five skeins of Knit My Numbers and what I'm going to do with that. So my plan is to wait for a while that I get my inspiration back and then I will finish it. Yeah. But I haven't been knitting after the hats, I have been just crocheting the dolls, the Christmas elves. But that's okay. I do what I want to do. <laughs> but I have some new yarn. 
uh, in the beginning of October, I think. I visited Jyväskylä. There is a yarn store called Titity. And I bought some yarns for a scarf. Look at these beauties. These are Ara yarns. They come from Turku. Uh, Indie Dyer Ara yarns. Look at these beautiful colors. I'm going to make a shawl or scarf out of this, but haven't been able to start yet. But I have all, already the pattern and so on, so I just need to start it. But um, October, November, they are very busy months with everything is going on my my i have my birthday uh, our girl has a birthday in november and very busy busy time at work and so it's it's affecting to my hobbies also <laughs> also but i'm just happy that i can crochet the elves few rows in the evening so not going to take a stress about these knitted whips that i have I'm just going to go with the flow and do what I like. Yeah, but I think this was a, like a status update. What is going on here? And uh, I really, really appreciate that you watch these videos and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And please go and check the birthday, the birthday episode. Was it number, 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 28, number 28, published uh, October 22nd. So please check that out and uh, participate to the giveaway. So there is only four comments at the moment. So you are most welcome to comment and participate to that giveaway. Yes. But if you have any questions about these, these uh, projects or any tips how to get a motivation back to the water lilies or anything, I'm most, most pleased to read those comments. Yes. Okay. But uh, have a nice November. And I think I will be recording next episode. End of this month, beginning of December. And that will be the episode that I am probably going to announce the winners of the giveaway. But stay, stay safe and have lots of crochet knitting crafty time see you soon bye bye